Yesterday I made a video on Ancient OS which is one of the most customizable customums or maybe the most customizable ROM in Android 13 but Spark OS is not so far behind. We are talking about version 13.5 which is of course having the latest Android version and the latest security patch which means February security patch while making this video. This custom is also one of the most customizable customums includes a lot of changes a lot of new things after using it from some time here are the major changes which I found after installing this thing first of all we have spark system manager which optimize your device power consumption and performance while the device is in idle we also have the spark system boost option so basically it is a performance increment thing or maybe a battery booster you can give it a try if you want to we have the idle mode option so basically it's a system manager where you can see your device might give you better performance when you're device is in idle it is it will optimize your device in idle mode also better power consumption i mean it will optimize the power consumption and also the performance overall a good complete package it's totally up to you if you want to try it out or not or if you are seeing any changes after applying this thing enabling this thing or not it also depends upon which device you are using for example i'm using redmi note 10 pro it's it's a good device it's not that much good in the terms of flagship things but it's good enough so things might be different in my case things might be different in your case one more thing which i found is animation we have android p style animations of course it's not a new thing it's available in other customums already not every but most of the customums are giving you this thing already but uh, this customum brings you this feature now and my, my my main motive is to show you these things we also have some screen of animations available to crt scale and these are very useful things available from a lot of time ago maybe around 2015 16 when i tried this thing first time we also have the quick settings page transitions what these transitions are for example i have applied this options if i move on to the quick settings panel swipe okay this is how these are the transitions and of course it's not a feature based thing it's a customization thing so if you love to do some customizations you will be able to use these things and you will love these things too we have many options available zoom in zoom out according we have a background to foreground fade etc for example foreground to background this is how the ui is looking like so how many pages you have in quick settings panel then you will see these kind of transitions many transition options are there whichever you feel comfortable with you can use that and i don't think so these transitions plays a major role in your device performance so if you enable these things the your device performance might not be affected these are the page transitions which are included in quick settings and this is also available in some other custom homes too it's not a unique feature but it's included here and my work is to show you which things are new which things aren't here are some other options for example icon pack icon packs are almost same but one icon pack is different and the new thing which is implemented is xperia icon pack and as far as as i know as i reviewed a lot of custom homes this thing is not present this is xperia icon pack if you're able to notice my status bar the wi-fi and the mobile data which means network indicators these are from xperia if you have ever used sony xperia you already got to know these things you can see the wi-fi icon and these options all these wi-fi icons are looking so good something really different here and uh, this is about this is from xperia icon pack which looks good by the way archers is good too pui is already included but xperia is the new thing which is included that is why i've shown you if i move on to the battery options here you also have one more thing which is called smart cutoff in the previous times there was smart charging option this is also almost same like that but uh, in that smart charging option the when the option when you enable that option your device will stop charging at certain device certain battery percentage but by enabling this option your device will stop charging at uh, some temperature based things for example if your battery is now boosting to 45 degrees celsius 46 degrees celsius your device is heating then this option is very helpful your device will automatically stop charging at that and then it will help you in overheating things and this is a very useful thing i think so you should use this thing because in my area the temperature is always more than 40 degrees so i need to use this feature for me this is very useful if you are also there you can try it out we also have the quick setting theming options available quick setting styles includes a lot of options and as expectedly these options are also present in other custom homes too for me of course i use the last second one for me that was very good but you can see this two-tone ascent option 
option is also good outline style options are there these are op these are the options by the way available in every custom room so far every customization focused custom room cherish os ancient os also brings you these features spark os even maybe evolution x os is also bringing you project elixir etc etc and uh, this is the ui these these are the things which are available for me of course i use the second last one for me i think so this is a very useful thing and it is, it is paid if you use a project themer so if i'm getting these things free in a custom room i would definitely use this thing for me it's good but uh, if this is not fine for you you can simply skip this thing it also brings you the features of quick setting transparency which requires system you restart in some cases for me it doesn't require as you can see and quick setting transparency looks good by the way sometimes it gives you some lags and stutters so it's totally up to you if your device is having no issues you can use this thing or you can simply skip that thing too as expectedly custom monet theming is also present where you can use up your black theme vivid themes also there and the theming options which are present in repainter app are also present here looks quite good and all those options which are paid are actually free in these options so this is very good it's totally up to you if you want to use this feature or not but as i just said i have to show you all these features some fonts options are already there and this includes some extra fonts option for you we have many extra fonts available in our fonts are super good we have google sense which is a very useful font options and most of the users love to use these fonts san francisco fonts are also there we have Accuratist, accuratist, maybe, and uh, these are the fonts which you have. If you want to use these things, you can. It's totally up to you. There are many fonts options are present. One more thing is available in the theming options. By the way. The settings UI also has the theming options. If you want to use this kind of settings UI, which is inspired from Oxygen OS 12, then this option is present here for you. We also have other options too, but it's totally up to you. It's a customization thing. We have a data usage option, which is a very useful thing, and it is inspired from Corvus OS. That was the first one which I, in which I found that option. We also have the option related to volume panel styles. We have the Realme UI style volume panel, which actually looks too minimal, too good for me. I think so. This is a very good a very good thing and uh, this is the thing which is available in rise droid the spark OS, and many other custom rooms too reticker notifications is a very useful thing this is also available there the major things which were ex actually added and implemented in this new update i've already shown you all of those things i'm just showing you some else which are the which things are available in spark OS already reticker notification is a very useful feature available in some custom rooms and these are the things which are present this is a ui where you have all those customizations theming options miscellaneous status bar gestures lock screen and power menu these are the extra options which are present and all these options plays an important role while using a custom room one thing which i forgot to tell you is about theming options in themed icons which is also a very useful thing so if i use this default options of course without any theming icon options but we have second option which is spark launcher icons so this is how the ui is looking like where the dolby icon is not themed for me so if i move on to the home settings or wallpapers and style once again and try to apply this spark themed icons this is how the ui is looking like so extra themed icons options are there if you want to use the lawn icons theme files icons or any other icon pack you can try out that one too other options in default launcher is just same so these were things i just wanted to let you know if you want to install this launcher if you want to install this custom room link is available in the description i hope you like this thanks for watching and goodbye